What's up everybody? Monster Never Cry has a number of options of where to spend your gems. This guide is based off my beta and global account of what I felt works best for my progression playstyle. It doesn't matter if you're a free to play, low spender, medium spender, high spender, whale, kraken, dinosaur, giraffe, whatever you want to refer to yourself as. The priorities will still be the same, but the quantity and the frequency of buying will be different. Let's get it. Typically how I organize my gem expenditure when I play these types of games is in three categories. So number one, we're going to have leveling resources. You're going to have this in any idle gacha. It's what's used to level and upgrade your heroes. Number two, that's going to be summons. Another favorite of mine and probably a favorite of yours. You get that adrenaline rush from summoning heroes at a low percentage rate. Then number three, it's going to be your events, whether temporary or permanent. This is pretty much a staple for any idle gacha I pick up. I think it works pretty well and I will be interested to see how others play the game in the comment section down below. So what does category one leveling resources include? This is everything you use to upgrade your heroes. So if we go over here to monster, I still for whatever reason say heroes, but they are referred to as monsters in this game. And we click on say my Lilith, these are the resources I'm talking about. You have your mithril, your mana, and then if we go over to ascend, you have your evo stones. All three are equal in value, and as you progress further in the game, transitioning from say early to mid to late, you will start noticing the demand increases at a rapid rate. Example for my Lilith on the screen right here, to go from level 228 to 229, it's going to cost me 1.1 million mithril and 982,000 mana. I'll be using both my beta account, which is this one, and my global account, so you're able to see the perspective from both accounts because one is a little over a month old, and I think my global will be heading into my week four after tomorrow. To go from level one to 205, which would be a nine star requirement, not including Evo stones, is roughly 50 million mithril and 39 million mana. This has been put into a document from said players from the Discord. Shout out to them. I always have the guides that I find are useful in my video description. It's an idle gotcha, so it's going to take time unless spending money, and even then, it's still going to be a slow time. So where should I spend my gems for all these leveling resources? When you try leveling a monster and you fall short of one of the leveling resources, when you click this upgrade button, so if we do it right now, you can see right here, you're going to see a pop up. In this example, there is a deal here that resets every single day for both mithril and mana. So for mithril, 500k at a 75% discount of 50 gems, this is going to increase the more you buy. I have no idea if there is a cap. This is an important deal because you can't just straight up buy mithril in the shops. Honestly, mithril becomes a huge issue, especially when you start getting into your awakening of your heroes at 10 stars. So for me, it's 50 gems for 500k mithril. I'm going to buy that up right now. And then it's going to go into 150 gems for 1.50 million mithril. I'm also going to buy this up just because I really need it. And then it's 450 gems for 5 million mithril. That's starting to get pretty pricey in my opinion, and I typically don't go past the first two. Unfortunately, because this doesn't scale up with nothing, such as your account level, your account power, your VIP level, you will gain much more value buying this when you're first starting out as you have lower monster leveling requirements. If we go to the daily shop, so that's going to be your lordly vault and then your daily shop, there is nothing in here for mithril. All it has is gold. If you go over to the lucky shop, you can always click here for the mark items and you can see what potentially will show up. You can see there's nothing here for Mithril. The other shop would be in the Devil Dom and then you go into your Void Exploration and you go into your Mysterious Chest Shop. Once again, nothing will show up here for Mithril. You may have a crap ton of Mithril now, just like my global account does whenever I do switch over that to the video you'll see, but I'm telling you this will disappear quickly later. On my beta account, I am always dried up. Personally for me, if you go to the Greedy Cave and then you go to Lost Hollow, I actually skip the Lost Hollow attempts because the value is actually worse. You get two free a day and then you can buy two more for 50 gems each. So you can see right here, once I get to the max one, which is level 13, I need 5.46 million power. I believe it's increments of 50, so I will be able to get 700,000. Then maybe the value will start to look better. But as of right now, it's just not as good as the upgrade deal when you run out. These levels are tied into your account CP, like I mentioned. Some games do it differently, maybe like your tower progress, your campaign, etc. But right now for me at level 12, I'm getting 650k mithril 
for 50 gems. Don't even worry about these Evo stones right here, 65. This is just a bonus. So if I buy this up twice, that's going to be 100 gems, and I'm going to be able to get 1.3 million mithril. However, like I showed you, I can spend 100 gems more, and I'm going to be able to get 2 million. So it's your call and what you have to work with. I guess both work. I prefer the option when you don't have enough of the resource, you click that upgrade button, and I go for that one. So for me, first priority is going to be hitting those two triggered buys, then depending on my gems, I could buy the additional two attempts in the greedy cave, which I'm going to be doing right now, just because I am super low on them right now. So the daily gem total cost usually looks like for me is 200 gems. Next is going to be mana. So I'm going to go back to my Lilith. Let me just upgrade her a few times right now. Now mana definitely has more options to get, but it's very costly, especially due to the requirements the later monster levels have. Like I'm showing you right now with my Lilith, you can see to go from 231 to 232 level, I'm going to need over a million mana. I'm going to jump on my global account right now because this account I'm lacking mana. I'm going to be able to trigger that upgrade button. And as you can see right here, you get the pop up uh, 100 gems at the 75% discount discount, you're going to be able to get 200k mana, then 300 gems for 600k. This is a trap in my opinion, and I don't advise doing this. The issue with this is just like the myth rule. This does not scale with anything to my knowledge. Doesn't do it with your account level, with your account power, your VIP status, nothing. So for me, that's 400 gems right there, and that's not even enough to get me one level. If we head back to the lucky shop, so Lordly Vault, and then we go back to the lucky shop, you can click on the marked item. And if we go down here, I think mana is in the middle. I could be wrong. There it is right there. You can get the mana at a 50% discount. So 200 gems for 200 game mana. Terrible comparison to the upgrade deal, so don't bother with this. This is going to be the same kind of deal that can show up in the uh, Void Exploration Mystery Chest. However, to me, your best option would be to go over here, go to Devil Dom, go to the Greedy Cave, and then you're going to look over here at the Wish Lake. The mana gives more value than the Mithril. Once again, it increases as you gain account power with the different levels while still keeping the same gem cost. But for me right now, 450k mana for 50 gems. So that's 100 gems for 900k mana compared to the Lucky Shop, where it would be basically 1,000 gems to get 1 million mana or 400 gems from the upgrade trigger deal for 800k mana. So that's why I say for me, first priority, without a doubt, regardless of the stage of the game you're in, whether early, mid, late, whichever, buy the two gem claims every day from the greedy cave for 100 gems total. If you are really itching for more, you can use the upgrade trigger deal after. Now, because both my accounts have different needs, I'm still gonna include this. So for the daily gem total cost right now, it's at 300 gems. Next is Evo Stones. Now, the nice thing about these is if you are patient or say you're waiting for monster dupes, maybe waiting for that Hellfire from the shop, these can start to stack up pretty quickly without needing to dump too much gems into buying them. The discounts are pretty much the same all over the place. However, your daily buy, so if you go up here to your daily shop, you can get right here for a 60% discount, 80 gems for 200 Evo Stones. This is the highest discount you're going to find as the rest are 50%. So definitely going to want to buy this every single day. I'm going to do that right now. There we go. After that, if you still need more, despite the various ways of getting them from, say, uh, exchange rewards from events or from sacrificing heroes, you can always go to the Lucky Shop, which is next to it, where you're still going to see them pop up for a 50% discount. You can see right here there's one, but I'm just going to click on the marked item and you can see uh, where's the lowest one. Uh, here it is. You're gonna be able to get 50 gems for 100 Evo stones, 100 gems for 200, and 500 gems for 1,000. I would not recommend buying these with Mithril because of how hard it is to get this based off my global account experience when you get into those high levels. I've mentioned this a few times, but Mithril, oh my God, you're gonna need a lot of Mithril. The Void Exploration Mystery Chest gives the same discounts of 50% as the Lucky Shop, except it has different amounts, but they all end up being equivalent to each other. The Greedy Cave, if we go over to that right now, this is just a bonus. There isn't a dedicated Evo Stone section, like you have Wish Lake, which is for mana, Lost Hollow for Mithril, then you have Twisted Space for eggs, and then Boulder Field for your enchantment scrolls. So there's not a dedicated one for Evo Stones. They're just gonna be an added bonus, say if you're buying up more mana, or if you're buying up more Mithril. So for me, first priority, it's gonna be that daily shop with the 60% discount for 80 gems, then any of the 50% discounts from either the Lucky Shop, or the void exploration depending on your progression needs. Obviously, if you're a spender, you're gonna need more, a lot more frequently than a free to play due to the amount of summons you're doing, packs you're buying, etc. So the daily gem total cost so far, we're gonna bring that up to 380 gems. Now we're gonna talk about Dark Expedition or what I'm used to saying, fast rewards. 
If you play any idol gacha game, you know that your AFK reward chest is your sanctuary. Like if I click on it right now, it holds all your goodies you're gonna get while you're being idle. Now outside the one free a day, you can buy two more attempts for gems. Now there are times where there will be up events where you get more free chances and more gem buys daily. I 100% recommend you to max out all the attempts if your gems allow you to do so. I don't remember the total cost, but I think it's one or two extra free chances and then three or four extra gem buys. This is very important because not only do you get a lot of resources, such as if we go back to the, uh, uh, what is it, the uh, AFK chest right here, you get eggs, mithril, mana, account XP, evo stones, gems. So everything you're going to want, you're going to get there uh, that I discussed in the leveling resources, but you're going to be able to advance faster in campaign as your account level will go up quicker. One for free will get you two hours worth of idle resources. First gem buy is 50, second gem buy is 100. If you're a spender, the Demon Lord order perk I'd recommend as it's a monthly pass for I think $10 US that gives you more Dark Expedition attempts. So that's gonna bring our daily gem total cost to about 530 gems. Heading now into category two, it's gonna be summons. Uh, of course, this is my most favorite. It's a gotcha after all. I live for these moments where you can pull a hero with extremely low chances. Does it happen often? For me, definitely not, but it's a dream I've been chasing for 10 plus years throughout too many mobile idol gotchas played to remember. There's gonna be five different summons in this game. Number one is gonna be your gem gotcha, which is on the main screen. You click on this, this is gonna be your gem gotcha, which is your regular summons. Number two, if we go back, is gonna be your Star Soul Summons, or I refer to them as your Devil Core Summons. This is gonna be your targeted faction summons. Uh, number three, if we go to the Treasure Hunt, this is gonna be either the Magic Summons at the bottom you can see right here. This is gonna be your basic one, or your Forbidden Summons, which is gonna be your advanced one. This is the place you're gonna cross your fingers and hope for that middle final prize. Then number four, it's gonna be your Evil Souls. So if we go over here and then to the Summons portion, this is going to be for your evil souls or pet summons. Then we have finally number five, and this is going to be your reoccurring pack summons, which is going to be for your targeted monster summons. So yeah, there's a bunch of different ones, but don't think you need to focus all of these at once. I like to focus specific ones based off my account needs. That way I'm not too overwhelmed and just dumping gems everywhere. So for the gem gotcha, if you saw my 700 summons video, you will know the chances at getting a hellfire hero is extremely low. Always go into here thinking you won't get one, a legendary hero at best. This is a fodder machine spitting out monsters you'll use to feed into others. However, do buy if you go to the uh, daily shop. What you're going to want to do right here is buy this Evo Egg Summon for a 90% discount at 25 gems every day. It's extremely cheap and that's it. I'll do it right now. One second, there we go. I recommend to not spend 150 gems on the lucky shop if you see them pop up like right here, just because you can passively get these through events and from your, um, if we go over here to your bonus, you're gonna be able to get 10 free a day just from logging in anyways. And 100% if we go back to the gem gotcha, if you don't have any of these Evo eggs to summon, you're gonna be able to use gems. Don't spend 2,700 gems to do a 10 pull. Moving over to devil core summons. Now these are the best summons for me in the game. And then I also go for the draconic abyssal monsters. And if you go into, where is it, the rates, you can also get a hero or you can get a chaotic clone doll. Both are very valuable. What you're gonna wanna do is skip the devil core in the daily shop. So that's gonna be 50% discount, 1000 gems for one. Don't buy this, it's too expensive for the majority of players. Instead, head over to the lucky shop and you can see right here, it has a chance to pop up at a 70% discount for 600 gems. I buy this every single time I see it. The other place would be if we go to the Devil Dom and then go into Void Exploration uh, for the Mystery Chest. It does have a chance to show up here. If I have a screenshot, I will put it up on the screen, but I think it's one Devil Core for 800 gems or something like that, but it's still a better deal than the Daily Shop of 1000 gems. These are gonna be random, so I can't really prepare my gem expense for it, but if they show up and I have the gems, I definitely buy it. Moving over to the treasure hunt. Now for these, I'm more referring to the summon scrolls. So that's gonna be in the forbidden summon. I'm more referring to these right here. The summon scrolls depend on how I'm feeling. These are not necessary as you're gonna passively get these on a consistent basis. But if you're like me and sometimes you just get that gotcha itch and you're feeling lucky, I will buy a few if we go over here to the daily shop. You can see you can buy um, them at a 40% discount for 600 gems. However, it does have a daily limit of two. This isn't necessary. You're gonna have events, city gate rewards. Like if we go to the main screen and I'll do it right now, I'm just gonna max out my attacks. I'll most likely get at least one. 
and you can see I got three right there. I just thought I would add this in as I've had ridiculous luck here getting that final prize. Like if we go to Treasure Hunt, we go to the Forbidden Summon and either getting Coronis or seen here Zenobia or Dracula. Not to mention the rewards outside of these aren't bad either. Um, you got Mithril right here for 1 million. You got a Devil Core right here. You got a regular summon. You have gear, etc. Now, I don't need any more Zenobias at this moment. So I'm just going to free refresh. Maybe we get Dracula. We did not. But that's the final prize that I'm waiting for at this very moment. Moving over to Evo Souls. So if we go up here and we go over to the summons, um, I'm pretty triggered by these. I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, for the straight up 10 summon buy of 2000 gems, Based off the rates I've experienced on my beta and my global account, don't do this. Instead, if you really want, you can buy the Moonstones from these random reoccurring events. So if we go to the main screen, we go up here. Um, you can see I have one active right now. It's called the Evo Soul Flare. Um, if you go up to the Gem Mall, you're going to be able to buy 10 Moonstones, which is your Evo Soul Summons, for 1650 gems. So you're saving 350 gems compared to buying them for 2000. I honestly haven't focused on Evo Souls yet. I'm more interested in the magic guides, but these mythic pets right here are very strong. Actually, you know what? I can probably just show you them. These mythic pets, these two right here, are very strong and they do add a lot of power to your account. It just depends on what you're focusing. Um, if we go back to uh, the gem mall, you can buy the summons or you can buy these chests to pick the shards of the evil pet that you're looking for. Uh, once again, like I said, this is going to be based off your account's progression state, but I just thought I would mention this. And finally, pack summons. So these are a bit of a controversial topic um, in the Monster Never Cry Discord. Some players don't mind them, some hate them, some say overpriced, etc, etc. Now there are two different versions. You got your limited time pack summons, which is what the current one for Vespa is. And that's mostly where all the negativity is uh, focused towards or the reoccurring pack summon one, which is on the screen right here, where the monsters you can choose get changed up. Both cost the same at 2,700 gems for a 10 pull, limit of 20 gem summons a day, so 5,400 gems. This will once again be based off your account's progression needs. So for my global account, this one right here currently allows you to choose between Dracula, Zenobia, and Avanzo. I already have Zenobia and Avanzo on my beta account, so I decided to focus Dracula on this one so I can have more variety in my monster testing. You also have a chance for the 20,000 gems, six star regular faction food, among other rewards. So if a pack summon shows up for a hero that you're working on, especially being Draconic or Abyssal, if you have the gems, whether you've been saving them up or whatnot, this is a solid option to use them on. Keep in mind, these are reoccurring, so you can always pass on a banner for the week, save up more, then wait for the next. For me, the first priority will be that daily shop buy of the one regular summon, 90% discount for 25 gems. Then after that, it's more of RNG based off whenever the double cores show up in the shops or something specific I'm focusing on my account at the time. So right now, the daily gem total cost, it's at 555 gems. And now for the last category, we have category three events. Now this is what's gonna take the bulk of your gems at a more consistent rate. Currently, as far as events go, there isn't really too many. That's why I was always sitting on a fair amount of gems because I don't need to summon every pack summon. I don't need to always be buying Evo stones. If I have enough, I'm just waiting on hero dupes. It's a roller coaster like any idle game. You need this, then you need that, then you don't need this, then you need this, then you need that. In terms of events, every single time I see the gem mall, so if we go back there for a second, if we see the event with the gem mall, I will go down here and I will buy this chaotic clone doll for a 25% discount at 6,000 gems. If you're working on a Draconic or Abyssal Hero, which I'm sure almost everyone is at least working on one right now, this would be my priority to make sure I always have the 6K gems ready. I'm not exactly sure on the frequency of this shop, if it's once a week or every other week, but yeah, it's 6,000 gems. The other buys would be either the Mythic slash Legendary Magic guy. So if we go right here, this current one is for Evil Souls. But if we go on my global account, this one actually has Mythic and Legendary Magic guy chests. These are going to rotate in the gem mall. I would focus on one until you're happy, then swap off. Because I ended up getting my first Mythic guide. If we go on to my monster and we go to Zenobia and go to gear, you can see right here I have my first Mythic Magic guide which is, uh, I ended up choosing the Sword of Oath. They are quite pricey, but like I said, there's not too much to buy with gems once you reach a certain account progression. I guess this would be late game. Then you have your treasury. If we go to the main screen and we go up here to treasury, and then we go over here to the level packs. I still have a few active. I will eventually buy them all. I just, I don't know. I just haven't bought them yet. Scrolling down, you can see I've definitely bought some right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have bought ten on my beta account so far. Um, basically, I was focusing the summon scrolls and the devil cores. 
Um, what's really neat is these are permanent. Some games I've played, this would be time specific once you reach that level, but it's been over a month and uh, they all remain here. They're all good value. Some are better than others, but like I said, when you got some gems, you can pick what you need. Then if we go over to the Devil Dom, uh, Destiny Ocean, and then Void Exploration, this is going to be your daily buy. You're going to want to buy more Void Dice. You can max this out at 9 dice for 90 gems. I highly recommend this as 90 gems is nothing and opens up opportunity. Let me do it right now. This is going to open up opportunity for achievements. You can see the rewards right here. Um, special spaces landed on. That's going to give you resources. And then also up here for filling up your Archdemon Blessing. Gems are my first priority for that. Then we have the um, Void Clash, which is at the top right here. Now this is pretty important. This is your PvP game mode. I always buy some extra ticket attempts if I'm trying to push into the next tier. Um, especially if the season is ending, like you can see it's ending in one day. Um, you want to try to aim to be, if you can, I'm not saying this is for everyone, but if you can, to be top 256 in the Void Clash, because you're going to be able to qualify for the Ultimate Duel. Now why this is important is because you're going to be able to get more rewards. If you look at the um, rankings and then whatever you place, and then you look at the ranking rewards, you're going to be able to get some gems, some mithril, and then some uh, throne metal, which is shop currency. But what I typically do is you're going to be able to get your five free a day, and then I always buy one extra ticket. The reason is in the reward preview, engage in six void class matches, regardless of win or lose, you're going to get 50 gems. So you get your five free, you're going to be able to spend one for 20 gems, regardless if you win or lose, you're going to get 50 gems. So you just gain 30 gems for nothing. So we'll do that. And there we go, I won. And then we can go here and then I can click it. Well, let me just click them all. And I was able to get right there the 50 gems. So just like that, I always do this every day. Now I do purchase additional. You can see it does increase in cost like 20 and then it goes to 50 and then 80. So it does increase gradually, but I do buy more depending on how much I wanna push. And then we go over to the dimensional trial space. You have Wonderland Fishery. Sometimes I'll buy some refresh tickets. I can't open it because it's not unlocked yet. You can see it unlocks in 30 minutes. But I think it's 100 gems for five refresh tickets or something like that. I don't buy it often as I really don't like how they have the fishing game mode set up right now. But that's a different topic. Um, If we go over here to the Misty Mines, when you unlock this, I think it's at um when your account is level 90. I always go up here and buy an extra daily looting attempt for 100 gems as this gives me more opportunity for the currency as you see right here to go into the shop to buy those late game items, which is the magic guides, both mythic and then legendary. Um, and then you have special events like holiday ones, like the current ongoing Easter one. Uh, if we go back to the city, in literally every game I've played, they usually have options for gems. Like you can look at the egg shop. I showed this in a previous video, but you can see right here, they have the chaotic clone doll. Um, you got some Evo pet summons, etc. Then you also have the Spring of Prayer, which I absolutely am addicted to. I'm going to just do this for the video. So let me just buy these up one second and then we'll do the summons. Maybe we get something good. Maybe we don't. I'm really hoping for a, uh, what is it? I'm really hoping for the custom chaotic Evo egg, but we will see what happens. Here we go. All right. So this is the main one everyone waits for. Let's see what we get. I mean, not bad. I mean, we got 764 gems, so I don't know the rates, but that was almost right there making back my gems it cost to buy them all. So I do think this is a good investment to do if you have the gems to do so. I might be missing something else, but I honestly think that's it. So for me, my first priority will be my daily buys for, say, Misty Mines, Void Exploration Dice, etc. Then Chaotic Dolls when they appear for 6k gems. And after that, it's just based off my account needs, either pack summons, the level up rewards from the treasury, gem malls for either evil soul or magic guides, and then if any special events like the ongoing Easter one pops up. So my daily gem total cost ends up being to around 765 gems. Now it's definitely higher than this because there's some days I'll spend like 15,000, some days I'll spend 5,000, but this is just my everyday minimum gem cost. Let me know down in the comments what you prioritize your gems on. And as always, thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next one.